Hello and welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. In this channel, I, Shogo, will introduce various topics about Japan. So learners and lovers of Japanese language and culture, this is your One Step Deeper. And today, I'm going to be talking and demonstrating about this topic. How can you put your sword back into your scabbard without looking? Is a question I was often asked when I was working at Kyoto Samurai Experience. So today, I wanted to make a video where you can closely look at the katana and how it's being sheathed every time. I will also answer some of the other questions that I often received about this topic. First of all, the most important thing you must do to safely sheath the katana is to cup the end of the scabbard. Like this. Once you have the end cupped, you place the sword on your left hand. Then you simply slide the sword along your hand until the tip gets to the entrance of the scabbard. Then you start sliding it back in. Why is this so important to cup the end? It is because if you don't, the sword will not be stable and may fall off. So your left hand is functioning as a rail to guide your sword back to the scabbard. It's a little scary in the beginning to keep your sword so close to the blade. But once you're experienced, you will understand that it's much more horrifying not to. Next, let me answer some of the frequently asked questions about sheathing katanas. 1. Wouldn't it be easier if you just look at your hand when you sheath the sword? Katanas are now trained as a martial art called Iaido. In Iaido, you don't actually fight with someone, but train through kata, which are prescribed sword movements in different situations of battle. But in any situation, you will always have an enemy in front of you. Wouldn't you think it's a bad idea to keep your eyes off the man in front of you with a sword and try to kill you? That's why you must never look down at your sword. 2. Are there any other ways to sheath the katana? It is said there are over a hundred ryuha, or styles, in Iaido. And each style has its own belief of what the best way to sheath a katana is. However, the differences are very minor. The idea of cupping the end of the scabbard and sliding the sword along your hand are the same. If though, you belong to a style that uses two swords at once, you have to put the shorter wakizashi with only your one hand. 3. Have you ever cut your hand? No. And I've never heard of a person who has. I'm sure there must have been someone in the past that I'm not aware of. But that's how rare it is to hurt your hand. Lastly, today's conclusion. To safely sheath a katana, you must first cup the end of the scabbard with your left hand. Next, you place the katana on your left hand and use it as a rail to guide the sword back into the scabbard. You must never look down at your hand to sheath the sword, because you must train as if you have an enemy in front of you. Each style has different ways of sheathing the sword, but the differences are quite minor. I have never seen or heard of anyone who have cut his or her hand while training Iaido. That's how rare injuries are. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Eventually, I'll post more videos of me training Iaido. So I hope you can look forward to it. If this video made you want to start training with katanas, please hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. And my goal is to achieve 10,000 subscribers by July 2021, so your help is what I need. Thanks again, and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.